Hello and welcome to the Women's Inspire Network show, the show where we interview the humans behind the businesses. And we also interview people who are influencing others and inspiring other women. And one of those ladies is on my couch right now. <laughs> <laughs> no Una O'Hagan. No pressure. <laughs> Una O'Hagan from Mars Pharmacy. Thank oh, you yeah. so much for joining oh, us. It's a pleasure, an absolute pleasure. Well, I have to say to anyone who doesn't know Una, definitely go follow her Instagram. Oh, She's the Managing Director of Mars Pharmacy. So I just had to get you on the show. So thank you so much for your time. No problem. So pleasure, tell us, pleasure being here. So tell us a little bit about uh, what you've been up to. I mean, I know you're the Managing Director of Mars Pharmacy and I yeah. noticed that Mars Pharmacy is doing a lot of really cool stuff, especially with any brands that are coming out that nobody else knows about yeah. and stuff like that. So tell yeah. us a little bit about how you ended up uh, being the Managing Director of mm. Mars Pharmacy. Have we got all day to that? Yeah, <laughs> go on, go on. I'll just get my, oh, I'll just have my drink. Go on, go ahead. No, I am a pharmacist by profession. So I study pharmacy in Trinity. Um, so I'm from Tyrone originally, so come down from the I north. love the accent, it's great. Yeah, <laughs> it's still yeah. a bit of a twang, even all these years later, but came down just because I actually just wanted to get out of the north at that time because mm. it was the troubles were on and I, yeah. you know, at Ants in Dublin, I knew Dublin, always felt like as soon as I crossed the border, I was in the free state and there was a freedom really, to Really, yeah. So yeah. really wanted to come to Dublin and um, it did sciences as A-levels and um, so it was either going to be pharmacy or medicine for me, really. And uh, I was dead set on medicine, but at the very last minute when I got my results, I changed my mind because I have a phobia of needles, you know? <laughs> well, that would kind of <laughs> help a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so it, Trinity phoned up to say, listen, do you, uh, just checking you're taking the place. And I just went, no, actually, no. Oh, what am I thinking? Like wow. that split second and said, can you swap me into pharmacy? So that's how I ended up in pharmacy in Dublin. And then when I qualified out of Trinity, you had to do four years in, in college and then one year under the guidance of a tutor, right. pharmacist. And you could do it either in hospital or in community or in industry. And I chose community because I like chatting to people, as you know. So. No. <laughs> yeah. So I just didn't see myself in a lab and I didn't see myself, you know, in a hospital pharmacy at all. I wanted to be with people. So community is where I was going to go. So then I had to choose, you know, which community pharmacy I wanted to, you know, I needed a tutor to kind of guide me through the year. And I happened to be living in the area of uh, Mars and Baggett Street at that time. And I used to go into that pharmacy, you know, for my tweezers and my bits and all the rest. And I, I always remembered Pierce, the owner there, just being really, I suppose, eccentric and good fun. And there was always a nice feeling to it. So I went in one day to ask him, would he be my tutor? So it was like asking somebody on a date, you know, <laughs> he was in the 60s, I was like, early 20s it was all very awkward but he, he agreed to Aww, take me on lovely and I suppose I had the most wonderful year there really with him he taught me everything um there is to know and I, I just fell in love with the shop Samantha that's the truth of it and I really dreamt that you know one day I'd love to own this so you had that dream yeah. at the time oh yeah Brilliant. from pretty much the first day I went in there mm -hmm. it was just I loved I suppose I loved the shop itself. It had been there since the 1920s. It had been his mum's pharmacy before that. Mm. And there was a lot of heritage to it. You could mm. feel that. I can yeah. still feel that in it today. Um, I loved the community and I loved the customers. It was a complete mm. different mm. customer um, mix, I suppose, from professionals to local residents to... Yes, there would be yeah. around that area. Yeah, it's yeah. a real mix yeah. or whatever. So you just didn't know who was going to come in the door, I suppose. <laughs> and I love that. You yeah. know, you don't yeah. know what's going to happen day to day. So. Yeah, I, so the day I was leaving, because every year he took a, an intern, you know, um, I was a complete blubbering mess. I was crying my eyes out. I didn't want to leave. And I was asking him, could he keep me on as mm. something else and all the rest? And he was like, he kept on going, no, 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 child. He called me child. <laughs> and, uh, I, and I said to him that day, I picked up the courage to ask him the question, I suppose, that I wanted to ask for the whole year, which was, you know, if you ever sell in this pharmacy, would you let me know? Ooh. And he... He said, yeah, sure, but I think he just said to get me out the door and I can stop me crying. <laughs> um, but like, you know, I, I kept in contact with him the all the time. Like we moved out of that area then and I moved into a different area. But anytime I'd be around there, I would always call in and say hello, you know, bring a box of chocolates, you know, or bring yeah. his favourite cake. Yeah. And, um, and I suppose we always had that relationship. And then like literally four years later, um, I got a call and he said, listen, I am selling the pharmacy. I have an offer on the table. <gasps> Um, but I just thought of the promise I made to you oh. and I thought I'd let you know, you know, right. I just didn't have wanted to happen without me letting you know. And I was ecstatic on the phone thinking, 
do you know what, um, this farm is going to be mine. Like, you know, I just had no other idea in my head other than this is going to actually come true. And then he told me how much money he'd been offered and it was just like, ah, how am I going to get this money? And I sure had no funds. Not yeah, that. Like, yeah. I, I was living days, <laughs> week to week and anything I was earning and I was spending and sure I love that clothes and shoes, as you know. Yeah. But anyway, I managed to, I suppose, convince a bank to back me. Wow. And, um, and then that's it. My dream came true. That's really. amazing. Uh, yeah, it is amazing. And that's why I've never changed the name because I feel really, he really gave me a chance. Mm. And, you know, he had an offer there, but he waited to see whether I could come up with the money. Lovely. He taught me everything I needed to know that first year. And it has been there since the 1920s. So uh, why would I change the name, you know? Exactly. And he made such an impression on you. Yeah. And, and, and actually, it's funny, you know, that's kind of a theme that's coming up through a lot of our interviews that we've yeah. done today is that there was someone there that actually inspired or mentored yeah. the person who was sitting on the couch, you know. Absolutely. And there always is. I've one as well. I've one or two or three, actually, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Yeah. But it is really important to have that person yeah. that you can kind of bounce things off and, yeah, and learn from. Yeah, yeah. yeah Brilliant. Yeah. So how many pharmacies have you got now? So we have nine now. So wow. went from that one to, I suppose, after a while, I think my ambition kind of grew, you know, and I just felt that I was competing with some of the big multinationals. Mm. Um, customers would come in to us having bought, like there's there's a boots down the road, say, mm. I'll just say it. And they would come in with, you know, bags of shampoo and I'd be like, why are you going down there for your shampoo and yet coming up here for your prescriptions? And that always... And any time I'd ask, they'd say, well, it's three for twos or it's this yes, or it's that. Yes, so yes, it's that yes, perception yes. of value. So I felt yeah. like if I got more stores, then I would have more ability to actually do bulk mm. buys and mm. offer that and, and offer our customers the same as what they were shopping around for. So that was the driving force of it behind it, really. you know. And, um, and so th then we've gone on to either acquire other pharmacies like Pierce's um, or to open greenfield sites. Yeah. Well, I feel that you're underselling yourself actually there <laughs> big time because I know that I would rather go to a Mars pharmacy than any other pharmacy now because I think what you've done is you've made sure that your brand is known for having the stuff the, the new stuff, you know, the yeah. new brands, Trending the, things, the yeah. Irish, you support Irish a lot, yeah, you well support, that's really you do, you do. And yeah. that, that's something that I like to do. So yeah. actually, um, another reason is, you know, the brand, the package, the whole package is something that's, and, and the friendliness and the, the staff. And I think when you have that really good, excellent customer service and customer experience, you're going to go back for more and more again yeah, and again. Yeah. And I feel that maybe, and the Irishness as well, I suppose, of yeah, it yeah. is really, really evident yeah. as well. Well, yeah. I always say, like, well, first and foremost, like, we're an Irish company. We, so Irish products and Irish other uh, Irish entrepreneurs are really really important to us yeah. you know to support yeah. other people yes. somebody supported me and exactly. gave me a leg up and same I just here. think same yeah. here yeah. so and I think it's really important to give back and so when a, a new beauty brand comes on board and they want a, a, a help in hand really mm. is the packaging right is the product right mm. is the mm. price point right we'll give it a go like yeah. you know if it doesn't work yeah. out it doesn't work out but they have to get listed somewhere yeah and you know and we, we're delighted to be part of you know the girls in spotlight or jennifer rock skincare or mm. amy Connolly's. you know to be the, w one of the first stockists yes you know and yeah. i'm really proud of that and i'm really proud of what those girls have gone on to achieve as well because mm. we're part of the same journey and you do actually mentor a lot of women in the going for growth Which, don't you yeah There's, is I it do. the going for growth yeah it is, yes, it yes. is going for growth <laughs> um, i've been but i actually did that program six years ago myself because mm. at that stage we were at this kind of junction of okay we need to change and pivot the business because we've gone through huge HSE kind of cutbacks mm. and and so the dispensary element of our business was under huge pressure. Mm. I knew I had to kind of focus more on retail mm. um, in order to kind of get drive the business and drive the turnover and I wasn't too sure how to do that because all of my colleagues in pharmacy are real pharmacists as yeah. well. So I wanted <laughs> yeah. a, a yeah. you know, bigger picture thinking. So that's mm. why I went and joined the Going for Growth. And, you know, I got so much out of that. Um, you know, I learned so much from my colleagues around the table that, um, yeah, then two years later, Paula, who runs that program, asked me to mentor m my, my own table. So I've been doing that the last mm. four or five years now. Um, so, and I get, like, I love helping those mm. women um, because I And he actually makes us feel better as well when, actually helps us by mentoring 
people. Absolutely, I learn more from them. I'd exactly, say from me. <laughs> especially the young ones when it comes to social media yeah. and stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah. they know more than I. Like my thirteen-year-old knows more than I do. Absolutely, like. and they're yeah. honest, they're kind, yeah. or whatever, yeah. and they've tried things and they've failed at things, and yeah. then you learn from actually you know, gosh, I must not try that. I was thinking of that, actually. Mm -hmm. That's not the right way to go at mm -hmm. all. So mm -hmm. listen, we all get so much out of it. And what's really remarkable is that no matter what the type of business or the size of the business, it's the same challenges, you know. Absolutely. So, and, you know, it's great to have a safe, open space where you feel you can actually share yeah. that. Mm -hmm. It's not going to go anywhere mm -hmm. and you can get the help that you need. So, yeah, I love being part of that program. And, um, and what you said about the whole customer service in Mars, like that is something that we really, you know, I focus so hard on that because I really do believe it is about people. But sure, I, I, it's evident. I, yeah. It's it's really so well done. Well, we, yeah, you, we you've work put really the work in to do it. Yeah, and yeah. you've trained your staff and stuff. And then I, I love seeing the little behind the scenes videos and stuff because that makes it more fun as well. And I, I keep yeah. saying this to brands that people do want to see behind the scenes. We yeah. do. Like, oh, it's not perfect by any shape or form. Uh, yeah, but they, we like to see like what's going on and who that yeah. person is and who that person, you know, mm. and, and get to know the team as well. And I think That's you do that and it comes across so well oh, done yeah. yeah and I love the way when you get a package and you order it in Mars you get it all packaged up really pretty uh -huh. I love that as well <laughs> well all we're trying to do there Sam is really to give our customers who might not have ever crossed our doors of the pharmacy um, you know that same kind of experience is what they do get hopefully nine mm. out of ten times anyway mm. whenever they walk into the pharmacy I would, like all we I say to our team is what we're trying to do is make that person's day a little bit better put a smile on their face mm -hmm. because they're coming into pharmacy either because they're sick yeah or they're not well or a loved one's not well or or maybe they just want to come in and get a lipstick to cheer them up you know so we're trying that's to right. put a smile on their face that's yeah. what we're trying to really do yeah. and to advise them as best we can do so that they walk out armed with a little bit more knowledge and kind of feel like I'm glad I went in and spoke to that person. Exactly. And that's what we're doing, to, trying to do with online. We're trying mm. to put a smile on people's face. So whenever they get an online oh, package, it's the great. package is really important to us. To anyone that doesn't treats. know, by the way, <laughs> marspharmacy.ie, we will be putting the website underneath you when we're doing the show. <laughs> but like, if you want to order presents for Christmas, uh, anything like that, gifts, you'll get a gift. Like every, this, the, are you doing the, P, the uh, Peter? Um, fair, yeah, yeah, thing. we do that yeah. every Christmas, yeah, where we you can just select to, to get your product gift wrapped. Yes. And all that gift wrap and we charge 250 per product and all that 250 goes to be in Rick Ferry. Well, so I'm yeah. glad we brought that up actually because yeah. this will be going out around just before Christmas okay. so that's perfect yeah. so yes yeah, so if you are going to be ordering presents um, definitely Mars Pharmacy you can get them all there get them all delivered and then also you're helping the charity as well yeah, so that's yeah. brilliant and you get a Mars bar too and the reason we put that in is because people can't pronounce our name, you know, M E A J H J S. So we always put a Mars Bar because we're always in, you know, like the this chocolate bar. This is how you. <laughs> that's brilliant. Mars Bar, you know, like the chocolate bar. Because yeah. they always say, is that me, Eggers? Is it me, Harris? Or whatever. So, yeah, that's, that's where that came from. Brilliant. So now everybody, I think people, most people order from us just for the chocolate bar. <laughs> well, you know what? It's those little touches, though, isn't it? Yeah. That makes the difference. Yeah. So for you, um, we actually all ask all of our guests these yeah. questions. So for you, um, I'd like you to tell us what is your, the biggest piece of advice you can give someone who maybe is trying to get into a pharmacy, Okay, for so example. get stocked in a pharmacy. Yeah, if they want to come, yeah. like let's say they have a product and they think it's something that's going to sell in a pharmacy. What, yeah. what, what, what way, how do they go about that? Well, I think they need to be, uh, try and get connected to the most relevant person that they need to speak to within the pharmacy. So do a little bit of research. So mm -hmm. it could be me or it could be our purchasing team really is the people who will That's make that decision. Yeah, yeah. But very often it might be a product that has got a re really good marketing so far or, yeah. you know, they're, maybe they're actually distributed in Ireland and it has good marketing in another country. So maybe the approach there would be in through the marketing team. Yes, so it's okay. really about picking who can you tell your story to that's going to land and Have you ever seen a product and gone, do you know what, I'm going to contact this person and then got that product into yeah, your pharmacy? Yeah. So just to be aware yeah. that Una is always watching out for things like this. So well, of course. Because yes. We, like I stalk social media um, yeah. um, to see what people are at. There you go, see, uh, proof, yeah. proof. And it's not just that we, we, like, we look at other pharmacies because we try and have the products before other pharmacies as well. So we we be looking actually what's going on in the UK, what's going on in the States, 
that's where we and bloggers like, and stuff don't you look you have yeah, a great relationship with some of the yeah, bloggers yeah, yeah yeah absolutely we do um a lot of them are a part of our journey as well some of them have grown up they came in doing makeup lessons way back in the day i remember grace mongay she was like a local girl in yes, tala yeah um we have two sh- stores in tala and she came in to do a makeup demo and like that's how we started to get to know grace similar with tara makeup tara anderson she um she did a a makeup look in in our Barrow Street store with you know so then it's about relationships really Samantha it's about, about actually building up yeah. relationships no matter who it is, is yeah. if it's with your customer if it's with suppliers mm. or if it is with influencers or anybody else out there you've got to get out and you've got to meet people this yeah. business is about people uh, I, I'm always saying that I'm yeah, always saying it's that all it's all it about people and how you make that person feel as well and then yeah. nurturing the relationship you can build a relationship online yeah. take it offline Absolutely. have a coffee come Why to not? an event that they're going to be at and all that kind of and you do all of that yeah Absolutely. Well, we try yeah. like yeah. I'd love to get to more events but I think that is really time, important no I know time, you're juggling yeah. so many things yeah. aren't you? but I think that whole networking thing you know it is really important and I, I know I've been at networking events as well where I've kind of gone oh there's whoever will I go up and approach them or not and I, there's been times where I've just not done it for yeah. out of fear really yeah. and I would always just say what's the worst that can happen yeah. they either just turn away and say who are you or <laughs> they might sit, listen to you and say not for me thanks or yeah. you know but if you don't take that step if you don't have that courage it's not going to happen like they're not a mind reader they're not going to come to you so you, you, you've got to go for it like so that's a really good it. bit of advice as well yeah, yeah i think so you just have to go for it and i think if you have a product particularly that you want to get listed in our pharmacy or any other pharmacy you got to find out who is the person who can get it in for you? Who's the decision maker? And then go and figure out how you can get in front of that person to make a good pitch. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, because there might be some people watching that might have yeah. something up their sleeve. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, but uh, okay, and what about you? What was the best piece of advice that you were ever given? Uh, well, my mum would always say, if you don't ask, you know, you don't get. So don't be afraid to ask. And I think you know back to just what I said I think it's fear that holds us back or that fear of rejection isn't it? That's it, it? I yeah. think so yeah yeah so um I would always and I say this to my team all the time you don't ask anything and they go oh my god the neck on you and I <laughs> but if you don't ask you'll not even know you'll not get the feedback you yeah, know so yeah. often I ask and like I'd say out of every 10 things I ask for, I get one. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. And that's okay, I'm not supposed to get all 10. Mm-hmm. But what I'd get out of the other nine times is, well, what I always then ask, why not? Exactly, yeah. yeah and then they yeah. might say, well, we don't have the money for that at this time, or we might have this, or this is going on, or we're already working with this partner, or whatever. But at least you then learn actually what's going on in their world as well. True, and so, we have worked together ourselves, um, yeah. and we've actually, you've supported the Women's Inspire yeah. Network a lot. Yeah. So we want to thank you for that. And that's the reason so, you're sitting on my couch as oh, well. Thank you. Because <laughs> I'm actually trying to give back myself for people who've supported me through the years and the yeah. Women's Inspire Network. Yeah. Because um, you and I know how important it is to have good support around you, thank to you. have the right people around you yeah, as well. Absolutely. And to, you know, and, and I feel you've been very helpful to us. So, um, so I'm really happy to see your success and I'm really, and, and actually that's another thing I love seeing people shine into you yeah, that that absolutely. actually like grace like the likes of grace absolutely. isn't it lovely to see that journey like listen I think to be to be honest with me with my people why I love actually my team so much is I just love seeing mm. something in somebody that they don't even recognize that they have <gasps> yes. themselves yeah. and just trying to nurture that mm. and encourage them and say you can do this you can yeah. do this, and then then blossom into this amazing person that they never thought they could ever be yeah that is what i get my kicks out of yeah totally that's what i get my kicks out of and that either is one of our team members or it could be somebody on the outside as well it could be an influencer and you just have to give them a bit of courage or whatever it could be a supplier it could be somebody who's got this product and they're kind of like scratching their head but you, you know it's really good but the packaging has to change or yes something yeah, has to change. Yeah, yeah and giving them that push and then them coming back going oh my god i had no idea you know and it could be a little pivot isn't is, that what you think yeah. sometimes it can be a little pivot can't it that you absolutely. see absolutely and can make all the difference yeah. well i have to say we've, we're actually running out of time <laughs> now <laughs> so that was like so fast <laughs> but is there anything you'd like i suppose a, for our people watching, definitely to support the Peter McFerry Trust um, oh, yeah, Wrap for Homeless, isn't yeah. it? So, well, f- this year we're doing something slightly different, but we will do the wrapping online. Okay. And we'll do the wrapping in store, but we're going to do something slightly different, all to be revealed very <laughs> shortly. <laughs> Nearly <laughs> an exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're, we're going to do, like, for me, it's really important to give back, you know. Yeah. 
uh, at the end of the day we're a community pharmacy and we're embedded in lots of different communities and it is so important for me that you know our customers work li live and work in that community it's always important to get involved in that community and give back but then if you know broader speaking like socially i think you know the economy has given so much to me mm -hmm. our customers have given so much to me we need to make a positive impact uh, on our uh, on the bigger community mm -hmm. and i think for us why we chose Peter McFerry Trust really and to support them is because there are so many homeless people who are actually mm. around our, our stores. We see them, we know their names, we hear their stories. Some of them have fallen into really bad times. I think people have this perception that it's only one type of person who is actually homeless. It's not the case at mm. all. You know, people can be in abusive relationships, mm. people can be, you know, go through addiction, people can go through um, you know, the landlord has put up the rent and they can't afford it. Simple stuff mm. like that. Yeah. Like that. And yeah. then what happens is that they've nowhere to go. And all we want to do is there's nothing worse than can you imagine not having mm. your roof over your own head? Yeah. And can you imagine the loss in dignity? Like mm. we did a sleep out two years ago, myself and the team in Baggis Street, and the amount of people who came up and argued with us because they thought that we were homeless, argued with us, gave us like awful comments, awful slander. Um, told us to go and pick ourselves up and go and get a job and we were a disgrace to the community and like that's what people go through every single night and those are the stories we don't hear mm. and like they didn't choose to be homeless like mm. people yeah. forget this of course yeah. they want to actually have a roof over their head so we just want to give people an, a fresh start in life and why I've chosen Peter McFerry Trust really is because all of our money goes into an actual unit and we have insisted on that that any funds that we raise actually goes to getting somebody uh, a door a key to their own door yeah. and a, you know their own roof over their head and it actually doesn't cost that much money because Peter McFerry Trust are donated a lot of premises and lots of units for from say the HSC or you know that have fallen into disrepair or whatever and all they actually so they actually have the buildings right. all they need the money for is actually turn them into livable accommodation right. okay. so it only costs about maybe 10,000 max I'd say to turn a unit Gosh, into it's livable not that accommodation much really like when, like you know if there's a lot of people yeah, contributing yeah. like yeah. that's so like we've been, been able to over the last two years I think we've raised maybe about 100 and 40 150,000 so that's like it's a amazing. lot of people well done it's amazing you know, yeah. not mm. not only that person but their family and mm. their extended family we've mm. been able to bring families back together again wonderful children back to their parents again and that has a massive impact so you know when I pass on and whatever I, I know in my deathbed I'll be able to think and, and look back and say well I did make a difference to somebody out there you know and that's really important to me well done um and you. you know what I know you love to walk the walk as well. So um, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Una O'Hagan. And thank you so much for coming. Um, definitely, if you'd Thanks like to, if you'd like to, <laughs> we love listening to you. We could listen to you all day. Uh, if you would like to uh, check out Mars Pharmacy, there are nine branches um, all over Dublin. Dublin, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And also marspharmacy.ie. You can order online as well. And they do have cool brands like Clarins and Lancome and don't you, Code oh, yeah. Mascara. I love that. Yeah. Do you have that Hello, as well? Yeah, you yeah, do. yeah, yeah. You have so, all so your trend and brand. Do yeah. check it out. And um, if you would like to also be a member of Women's Inspire Network, go to womensinspirenetwork.com. We'd love to support you and your business. Thank you for watching.